Hey guys, welcome back to Killer Frequency, episode four. Let's get straight into it. Caller, Caller you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Thank you. Thank you. That's really wonderful of you to say. What's your name, Caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Hello, Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Which Your one turn. is that? Sure. Long Ride Home. That All right. song. Sure. We got it. I think uh, I played it the other day. Thanks. I don't see it. Good to hear mm. it again. Well. All right, mm. folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're going to find that song. What do you mean? I played Why? it a few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't have it anymore. What are Why you not? about? What happened? I threw it away. You threw it in the trash? No, I... I threw it out the window earlier today. Peggy, why would you do that? Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Great. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. What do we do then? All right. So, uh, what do we do instead then? Let's just play a different song. Fine. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again. We'll tomorrow just night. try again. Sorry. At some point, I get the record. Play. One eighty-nine. Now it's time to go with the flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. Alrighty. Alright. Peggy, care to talk? Of all the songs to request, why did it have to be that one? I guess Peggy, they just like it. What did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Yes, ma'am. Sorry to cut the music Hello. short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nat. Forrest? Oh, thank God. It's me again. Murphy? Murphy! Isn't he from the Waste Disposal Plant? What's the problem? Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me, man. Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? I warned you not to. Hindsight is 2020, okay? Forrest, we need to do something. Goddamn piece of. Well, we can get you out of there. He came from the gallows waste disposal plant. Beat on me, man. Carry me inside and lock me in a dumpster. Oh, boy. I got a flashlight, but. Oh. Oh god damn! I smell smoke. Oh no! I think he's starting to fire. Hold on, Murphy. We'll call. We'll do our best right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now, or I'm gonna die. Okay, okay, okay. Call the fire department immediately, hey, Peggy. Get the fire department on the line. On it. Where is the fire department? Here it is. Right. Oh man, that's a long drive. Come on. They'll make it, hopefully. Well. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. Come on. What do you mean it's not operational? What? Why is there no backup vehicle? You're telling me they only have one fire truck? He... Oh, God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. They do they not have extra anything. tires? But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can see. Okay, them. where are they? Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's old. Really old. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. We know Mercredi Street's closed, according to this. And the connector between Rogers and Haddonfield will be closed, too. So Catherine might be our best option because Pele Street is open and all they have to get out is Myers Lane. Yeah, Myers Lane. You know what that's referenced to. All right, Peggy? Forrest, who should I call? Call who your friend Catherine, Murphy? okay? Call Catherine. All right, 
Give me a second. All right, I really hope she can make it. Okay, he's trapped in a dumpster, so where is that going to be at? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They're on the way. Okay, good. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. All right. Let's hope they get there in time. Come on, come on, come on. Call coming in. All right. It's Catherine. Put her through. She and Murphy are now both on the line. Hello. Hey, Catherine, are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? Okay. Okay, we have to find where he is. Oh, my reception is terrible in here. God, my eyes sting. Okay. Personal storage, waste disposal, recycling. Smell anything, Murphy? Murphy, tell me what you can smell. What do you think, genius? I told you earlier. Fire! Well, where I are you? Fire. It can help us. This isn't helping? See anything. Murphy, can you see anything at all? Yeah. I got a little tell us what's there so we can tell her where to go. Looks like old, old cans, cans, bottles. Bottles and newspaper. That sounds like the recycling center. What does it say on the newspaper? It's uh, the Henderson headline. What was that? The My Henderson headline. In here. Please, Forrest, tell me where to go. Go to recycling. Go to recycling. That has to be right. Come on, Catherine. Hurry! Come on. Shit. The plant's messed up again. Okay. I can go shredding or crushing. Which way? Murphy, do you know what part it of the It sounds like cans, is? bottles, and paper. A dumpster, man. What do you want? Do you, are you even shredding or... Okay. Do you see anything? Just tell me what you can see, Murphy. I've already told you. Hear anything? Do you hear anything, Murphy? I hear my heart about to pound out of my chest. Put the receiver up to the lid. That sounds like crushing. Go to the crusher. Catherine, go to the crusher. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, it's super loud. We're almost out of time. Keep going. Three dumpsters here. One for Gallows Street Council. No. Henderson! Henderson's the right one because I had a newspaper for Henderson. Open the Henderson container. It said I had the Henderson headline. Look in that one. Yes! Get him out of there! Go, get out! Run! Come on! Please! Pretty good. Did they make it? Hello? We made it! Yes! We did it! Oh, They're alive! You saved my life. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I swear to you, now. I'm gonna race Fernando to be like you. <sighs> awesome. I'm getting my money back from Mr. Robin. You probably hey, should. You for just Fernando. Your son, okay? We'll do, Forrest. Folks, you heard it. Well, folks, Gallows Creek has two folk heroes tonight Murphy and Catherine. I'm sure their deeds won't soon be forgotten. Great job, Forrest. No time to celebrate, though. We got a caller. You know what to do. All right. All right, folks. Another of our good citizens is on the line. All right. Let's see what they have to say. Hello. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. Oh, no. Is that the I political just candidate? I say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this awful... Yeah, how about you do something oh, about it? It's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows... Are you in danger? We need to be a town Oh, jeez. Can you cut him off? We got more important things to do we tonight. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep yeah, us Yeah, you safe. can do that in office, but you okay, can't do that right Teddy. now. We... I know you're an outsider <laughs> to our 
little Look, town. can you please here, stop making boy. this like a political campaign thing? But you're really stepping up the bat for Not us Not that slogan tonight. again. I just want to say thank you. Uh, look, I'm very flattered, but you're just doing this as a political Jackass. campaign. Teddy, please stop. Teddy, this isn't the time for your political ads. Stop. I just uh, can you just sure cut him off, Peggy? Because we got more important things to do tonight. And prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father, Which one's that? Theodore C. Gallows. God rest his soul. I'm guessing it's Gallows and Sons. Yeah, there's new sticky notes. Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm oh. cutting you off. Hello? You know what? I do have a problem. All right, Teddy, what is it? A problem that's ruining our time. What is it, Teddy? You know what it is? The whistling man? Yeah. How about the goddamn serial killer? The problem. Oh gosh. Is that woman, our current mayor, Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we Can you go. Just... She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and. You're not better than anyone. All Teddy. politicians are Just gross. Just you inherited half the town. It. Your producer sounds a little unstable. Oh. Don't you dare. Speak Don't you to dare me that speak way. to Peggy like that. Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee Cut him off. this kind of thing will not happen when I take off. Shut up. The moral decay of. Thank you. And that's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. I always feel disgusting after hearing him well, talk. Well, why would he insult Just play you? play an ad for us? I need a minute. Yeah. We'll be right back after these Let's messages. play the new tape. Oh. Eh. Oh. Gotta put it in there. The world-famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival oh, they have a harvest or is cool. back! We got it all the out first on Jimmy's Field. Make me want to rip my we ears got out. the Little Miss Harvest pageant, Princess Harvest pageant, Harvest Queen pageant, cotton candy, corn dogs, cornhole, corn on the cob, crokinole, country music, can jam, jams, jellies, jamborees, juggling, roller rickies, roller disco lessons, praying. We got <laughs> baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, lot. beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, Saints, Save. donkeys and ponies, Why apple bobbins, marks? firearms, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, seeds, bitten sand, licking crackers, This literally cramming, just sounds like America. <laughs> And fake oh tattoo, gosh, face, that goes puppets, on forever. Zoo, amazing maze maze, square dance, and story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous gourd measure off. Cool. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated to the memory of Gary. Hey, Meyer, Garrett. Tragically taken from us last festival. Oh, that's awkward. I can a see word from our sponsors, and she'll dollar signs for the achievement. Your uh. forest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice oh, of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Here's the mug. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Oh. Caller on line one. Hello, caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Speak up. Are you okay? Uh, hello, caller. Who is this? I hate to break it to you. They're not coming tonight. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me. In okay, my we know who that is. I, I think he's killed some of them already. Okay. Okay. He's just outside. I can see him from All right. here. God damn it. She's just a kid. Where are you? Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god. Oh my Calm god. Calm down. Yes, Where are we? Me, kid. Focus. I can't yes, do you this. can. Yes, you can. What Focus. is your name? Tell me. What's your name? Come on. Deep breaths. We'll get you out of this. Sweetie, you can do it. What's your Come name? On. Okay, Carrie. Good. Where Good. are Carrie, you? Listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there. All right. Now, where are you? The old murder house. Murder house. Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. Um, there's there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. Oh, he's got 
coming. A couple of bathrooms. Like, oh. Okay. A bathroom, a bedroom, a closet. Oh, jeez. Uh. I don't know. Bathroom? Go to the bathroom. Okay. I, I don't know. Where is the murder house? Isn't that the. Um. He's here. No, he's not. He's We're gonna figure out how to get you out of this. He's gonna kill me. Forrest, I don't think we can. Run! Run! Come on, come on, get out of there! Oh no, oh no! Get out of there! Oh, oh no! Wait, what? That sounded like a guy there for a second. Forest! <laughs> Not these guys again! What? 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 Are you. Are you kidding Another freaking okay, prank! Wh what the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke. There's a Jeez. real person Wait, out tonight! Isn't that... Jimmy! That wasn't funny! Sicko! Of course I called the cops! But, but some guy just answered instead! What guy? Forrest Nash! What the hell are you all doing? It's prank night! No, man. it's not! We're just having fun! That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling <sighs> man. That's it. I'm out of here. He's out there, Jimmy. You know he's really out there tonight, Jimmy. Right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's just whistling night, man. <sighs> that little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... What? <sighs> Did you take off that stupid when kid died? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. Oh no. That's a... Uh, uh... Wait. Oh no. That's the whistling man. Uh, who are you? Oh no, man! <laughs> Look, I, I hate Jimmy as much as the next guy, but he didn't deserve that. Get inside! Everyone Get out of there! You buy time, but not much. Okay. Forrest, we have to. Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. E e we're our best He's effort best right now. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house and. Oh, of course! The van! Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. And Jimmy's dead. How are we going to get the keys off him? Don't worry. Um, focus. Focus. Stay focused, Carrie. If you focus, focus we can get out of yes. this. Sorry. Sorry. I'm here. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're going to get killed. What'd she say? If only Jeannie were here. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my really? best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Force, listen. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... Uh, and, no, no, What are they Jack? recommending? Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. What's going uh, on? Everything okay? No. We, uh, uh, We're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things that are just bad at. I think we can figure out what to do. But I don't think we can agree on okay. what. I think you'll have to be the All right. Or else these idiots are going to get us killed. But we don't know I... much about these people. Shut up, you... Oh, Forrest, I'll call you back. And I don't know anything about your friends. <sighs> these damn kids Ain't never that learn. Truth. Breathe, Peggy, it's okay. Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. Ugh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get Why would hurt. They do this. All right, <clears throat> folks. Okay. We're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one 
goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> Introduce it. It's David Scopo with... Okay. Moonlight. What are we going to do? Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? And then Maybe she has notes yeah, on them? Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the no clouds, problem. you know? Where is I'm her desk? I'm not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. Really? All right. I'll go see if I can find her desk. Tucked Hopefully in a dark corner use. downstairs? Do you hate me, Peggy? Because sometimes I feel like you freaking hate me. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. All right. So she's not reception. She's just somewhere downstairs. Okay. So Peggy has a desk somewhere. Is it this one that I saw squished in the corner over here? Jeez. They really tucked Jeannie away. Okay, so this is her desk. Let's see what's on here. Gals for life. Yeah, nothing on there. What's this? Friendship quiz. What was That's that? Weird. I just heard, not in, in real life, but I heard in a game some big slam. I... I don't want to know what that was. We're just gonna head upstairs. Okay. Most likely to peak. Okay. So, let's see here. One, two, three. So it's labeled as in this person's one, this person's two, this person's three. Okay. So, most likely to peak Mount Everest is David, the hot David. Scott, Chad, and Timmy are most likely to win worst poker face, so they. They can't keep a straight face, okay. Most likely to end up in prison is uh, Jennifer or Lisa. So I don't know what that would mean. They would commit a crime? I, I don't know. Make sure that shuts. Um, most likely to escape prison, Scott, Cynthia, and Seth. So Scott, Cynthia, and Seth are good options. Most likely to become an athlete, Seth is fast. Okay, so Seth can escape prison, is fast. And he's not most likely to end up in prison. So Seth might be a good option for something. Kyle and Hot David can peak Mount Everest. So that means they'll pre be pretty strong. Poker face, I don't think we need to worry too much about unless they bring something up. And then most likely to end up in prison, I don't think it's going to help us here. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then it has good numbers. enough. Carries on line one. Whenever you're ready. All right, we got our card. Back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Okay, Carrie, Carrie what are we gonna do here? There? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on All right. who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. What's the first I'm step? Ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first. We'll need a spotter, someone who can keep an eye on the killer. Not a poker face. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard, hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, Hot and David, or Kyle would be good. Let's check to see if Hot David or Kyle could be good for something else. Okay. Kyle says he's mo Okay, so Kyle or Hot David could work. Let's go with Kyle. Kyle's my pick. Quit whining about your inner ears, Kyle. You got what you wanted. Part two. The Whistling Man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here... Okay, that would be someone, someone who can walk. escape prison. Seth, Jennifer, and Seth, Scott. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott. So Scott or Seth would work. Seth can run. So we need someone to pick up, but we need someone to run. So Scott, you go with that. Scott. We know Scott. You play a rogue in your weird basement game. We'll see how All it right. goes in real life. Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. I'll no. volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so... It'll no, 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 no. That way. Is part four. Okay. Plan is impressive. I hope this, this works. I want to keep these kids alive. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. Come on, you're what's the next great. step? What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. Okay, Seth. Runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between. Seth is your best option. Who was it again? Ah, uh, David. Cynthia. Seth. Seth. Seth, he can run. Seth. He says he's an yes, Olympic Seth. athlete. You know, you're the kind of man who runs towards danger. But today, we really need It to says here he can become an Olympic, okay. Olympic athlete, which means he Sweet. can run. Okay. Let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and 
pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Ooh. What's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So... Let's use that against him. Part five. We trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? We got Lisa... Tammy... Tammy has Cynthia. the best poker face. And they said they need to act like to, they need to have a good poker face. So these are worst poker face. So Cynthia has a really bad poker face, which means she can fake being injured. So Cynthia. Cynthia. Right, Cynthia. You'll do. That take okay, care of the let's hope this works. And then it's time I to hope get I got out this right here. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to So somebody ends up in life. prison. Jennifer or Lisa says they most likely end up in prison, so oh, maybe God. they could be good drivers? Chad, Jennifer, Tammy, oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Jennifer. Jennifer. I know we all love watching oh, American Skid. Oh, there it is. Yes, I... Yeah. Just See? Really Drive really fast. Uh... Thanks, Forrest. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves. Okay, I think I got good Sounds choices. Good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. That actually sounded like good, a pretty thanks. good plan. I hope so. <laughs> I hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope. I basically based it off what I heard, so... I hope this works. Should I play music? I don't think I need to play music. Not right now, at least. Oh, the kids are back already. All right. Line one again. Whoops. If you're just tuning in... Come on. We're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener, yeah. discretion is advised. Come on, Carrie. Ready, Carrie. I hope We're this works. Go, good luck. Good luck. Let's God listen speed. in. Hope this works. You got this. Here we go, everyone. Smarter. To the roof. Whoa, whoa. Careful. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter signal. Okay. Spotter says go. Who's next? Yes! Lockpicker, go! I'll get the keys on you. Alright. Lock took the bait. <gasps> Ignore his face. Oh. Wow, my pockets are screwed up again. His face is the keys. Carrie, get those you keys. Need to get the van keys. His face is Just get the keys, please. It got caught. Oh god. Focus. Focus. Breathe. Get the van keys. Right. We need those right now. Right. The van keys. Come on. Oh, Jesus! The whistling man got the runner! Where's the key? Come on. Where's the key? Go, go, go! The rest of you can get out of there. God, hurry up, block picking! Oh my god! <sighs> oh. Oh. oh gosh. Oh, it's, it's going terribly. Keep going. You have to keep going. A few of you can still Don't get out of there. Carry. Don't give up. Right. Right. We just gotta keep pushing on. Time to trap the killer. Come on. Please. Alright. Bait. Get into position. Everybody else. Hide. Come on. Go, go, go. Damn it. Damn it. Everyone's in Run. The now. Get out of there. Goddamn, get We're going to have to ram it. 
Keep going. Carrie? Oh, what was that? It's the whistling man. Drive! Now! Hold on! What's going on? What's happening? Carrie, can you hear me? What's happening? Oh, oh we crashed. Everyone ran. My legs dropped. Carrie. Forest. You can get. Come on. Pull yourself together. <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> Carrie. Gary! No! No! Gary! Gary? <sighs> well, uh. Just, what? What? Just stare at Gary, you're still alive? Gary! Harry? He just stared at me and got my leg out. Is he connected to- I don't Wait. understand. What? Thank God, you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? Get on, Carrie. Fast. Thank you both for helping. If you hadn't, I, I guess the plan was just- I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry about your friends, Carrie. Thanks. Just go. I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Folks, that was a... Uh, that was a lot. Our thoughts go out to the parents whose kids... Yeah. ...won't make it home tonight. For any kids listening in, please stay inside. And the police will be stay here safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. That it went well for the time being. Hey, well, guys, in. I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. That was a lot the process, but we still got a lot more of this game to go. And I hope to see you guys continue to watch this series. I have the playlist linked at the end of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're liking this Call content. And us. I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!